Ick. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and are you feeling better or the same? Um, the same. The same, right? I know, I know. But yeah. For I'm... a second, I know con I not connect today. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, casi no me conecto ahora. Ah, uh, yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, if you are, I know you are uh, feeling sick, right? And, yeah. Uh, but yeah, think about it. Right? If you, if you feel like you're good, it's okay. But yeah. In the last week, I thinking I try to be here. Yeah, <laughs> this is the last week. That's true. We're just having uh, one more, one more class and on Wednesday and then the test, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, and your day, tell me how was your day? Well, um, my day was very, very busy because they, they had a lot of work. I know. There are much, yeah, much work. I know, there's a yeah. lot of work. No. But what's good, uh, I, did all thing in the day. I, I don't have nothing for tomorrow. Okay. Only the only the new thing. <laughs> yeah, only what's coming. I know, but that that's great. That's great. All right. So welcome. We will try to continue with the simple past. We are learning about the simple past, and this is what uh, we will continue working on. Right. Uh, okay. Yesterday, right, we practiced the you know, affirmative sentences and negative sentences in the past. And today we will be talking about questions. Okay, and just to start, we're going to get started with some questions, right? Just to get familiar with the topic. Okay. Okay. For example, it says here, did you listen to the radio two days ago? Did you listen to the radio? Two days ago? Yeah, yeah. maybe, maybe yes. yesterday. Yes, I did, I did. When do you listen to the radio? When you drive or, or when you are at your when, job? Mm -hmm. when, I, uh, when I go to the war, when mm -hmm. I went to the war, uh, Everything in the morning, in the afternoon, when I come into my house. When you're driving. Yeah. Yeah, it's great to listen to the radio. It helps you, I don't know, you listen to some music and it helps you feel more relaxed. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Did you watch TV this morning? No. All right. I don't know. No. How, how often do you watch TV? Um, well, I was thinking one or two times in the week. Okay. In your days off? Yes. All right. That is great. Okay, let's look at another question. Okay, did you read a book last night? Or maybe not last night, but did you read a book these days? No, I didn't. All right. And reading I don't a book like is... to read. I don't like to read wood. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. It is sometimes I, a little difficult. Yeah, but I read the the, the, the newspaper. Ah, newspaper, yes. To be like updated with the news. But yeah, yes. it's a, a little difficult to be reading books, right? Okay. Did you drink tea last night? Yes. Okay. What is your and favorite night. tonight too? Yeah, for how do you say flu? The, the flu, yes. Yeah, it was good for my flu. Uh, uh, yesterday, I I drank uh, a tea of lemon with. Uh, Miel, miel, como se dice? Honey. Miel? Honey. Honey, yeah. Yeah. Lemon with honey. Yeah, that is helpful for the flu and also for the yeah. cough when you have cough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I listen that you're coughing too. Yes. I know. 
Okay. Okay, did you speak English yesterday? At the class, right? Yeah, I speak I I spoke English in the class. Spoke English, yes. Okay. Did you travel abroad last summer or last vacation? Did you travel to some countries? No, uh, no, no, I didn't. Okay. Only here in the in the city. In the city, okay, or in our country. City. Okay, so you see, these are some of the questions, right? Let's look at another one. Okay. That's the same one. Let's see another one. Did you play a sport last week? Uh, no idea. All right. Do you play sports? Yeah, well, uh, for my work, uh, I don't play a sport for a long time. Yeah, you don't have too much time. Yeah. I understand. I understand. Okay, those, these are the, uh, you see some of the questions that we're going to be looking at. We're going to be studying um, yes or no questions, basically. Okay. We okay. have, uh, as, as you might know, we have two types of questions, right? We have uh, yes or no questions and also WH questions. But this time we're just going to be looking at um, yes or no questions. Can you help me read the form of the questions? Interrogative, interrogative, uh, deal plus subject plus infinite. Example, do I play, work, or light? Okay. Did he, she, it, play, work, and light, and did we, you, they, play, work, light? Okay. What happens to these verbs? So are they in the base form or in the past or in... In what form? In the base form. The base form, yes. Why? If we are talking about the past, why don't they change? Because they have did. Okay. That, and they are true. a question. They are questions and we are using auxiliary did, which as I was saying yesterday, it, it's already in the past and the verb doesn't change. Okay. Um, the same happens with the negative sentences. When you have negative sentences, the verb doesn't change. Okay, You use did or didn't. And the verb still continues in the base form. There's no change. Okay. You have some trouble with, with, your, with the cough. Yeah. Yes, I know. Okay. But yeah, it's good that you make the, the effort to continue connecting, right? even though you are sick. Right. Really, really, I, I like this class because there are very, very, uh, I don't know what I say, intuitive. Uh, intuitive? And yeah, I really I like this, this, this class. Okay, thanks for that. I appreciate it. And that, that's the idea, right? Uh, that you like it and that you learn from that. That's the point. That's great. Okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Okay. Um, and you know, that's the point, right? Uh, you like the class and also that you have to make the effort to connect. And well, that's that's for everyone, right? Not only for you, but for everyone. Everyone who's, yeah. who is studying English, they need to give it some time. Okay. Uh, it takes thinking... time. Mm -hmm. I think in the weather on this class, uh, all, all this um, uh, module is that is this part when when the people practice. Yeah, exactly. Where you practice more, and uh, that's the point. Right? Use the language. You need to use the language. You need to practice with the language, and you need to give it time. The most important is to give it time. Um. You know, the more time you give it, the faster you will learn. Okay, so we're going to be looking at questions, how you make them. Would you help me reading the, the first example here? Did a BC London last year? Okay, and you can have short answers like these ones. 
Yes, they did. Yes, they did. That would be a short answer. You know, the, again, we have information questions and we have yes or no questions. In this case, they are yes or no questions because the answer is yes or no. Did you visit London? Yes, I did. Did you play sports last week? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. And so on. So we're going to be looking at these ones. Uh, what about you? Have you been to London? No, I didn't. Okay. Would you like to go to London someday? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah. what, what, what countries have you visited in the past? Um, Spain. Spain? Okay. Ecuador. Ecuador. Eh, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Costa Rica. A lot of countries eh, then. Yeah. Eh, Ecuador three times. Okay. Eh, Spain one time. <laughs> once. 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 Yeah, once. once. Okay. What what has been the the best experience? Well, my best experience in Spain was the I went with a, a friend to to try to practice ski. Ski. <laughs> see, yeah, yeah. We go. We we went to 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 the montaña. I, I don't remember the place, but it was in Barcelona. We mm -hmm. went to the 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 the, the, the uh, I don't know what what the what is the name. Yeah, back then the was a a, a, a part to a ski. Okay. He practiced in snowboard. Snowboarding. Uh, snowboard. Yeah. That those are really good. Uh, um, I don't know. Experiences, uh -huh. right? And you enjoyed them. That that's great. Yeah. That's great. Did you like the experience? Yeah, because uh, it was my first time. Uh, and we practiced that. And the, the place was really, really, really nice. The, there are a lot of uh, snow. And the beer, the beer uh, tasted super good. Beer? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, because uh, and it's very cool. And, it cool it, the 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 beer never be hot okay okay <laughs> yeah, that's great that's great that sounds like a good thing to try <laughs> yeah Definitely. okay i like that that's great okay we're just going to be looking at some examples of questions right and just to get familiar with the form of the questions okay can you help me with this one did Kate go to a school? Okay. No, they didn't. Okay. No. No, she didn't. She didn't, right? No, she didn't. You, that's the a short answer. You know, you can have short answers or long answers. Did Kate walk to school? No, she took the bus, for example. Okay. Yeah, it okay. sounds like you have a a really bad cough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, you need you should take some medication right and and hopefully you will get better through the week. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh we're going to try to make some practice. You will have some pictures and you will try to make sentences with the pictures, okay? okay. Using the simple past. We have one example, okay? They ask a question. So the question is, did they ask a question? And you have a long answer and a short answer. Yes, they did. They asked a question in the past and no, they didn't. The three okay. possible answers, right? You have a, a short answer in the affirmative, a short answer in the negative and a long answer. Okay. 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 How would you make a question with this one? 
Uh, first the question, uh, or, uh, did she take a picture? Uh, yeah, you, you can use the, ah, the, okay. the, the prompts right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did Emily visit the Coliseum in Rome? Okay. Did Emily visit the Coliseum in Rome? Yes. Okay. Uh, well, we don't know, but, but the answers could be. Yes, yeah, she did not visit it. Okay, yes, she did. That's a short answer. She visited it. You need to like try to she connect did. the sounds, right? She visited, she visited. it. Visited it. Yeah, visited, visited it. Visited it. Visited it. Yeah, visited it. She visited, visited it. it. Visited it. Yeah, it sounds a little complicated, right? Yeah. Okay. Visited. Visited. So she visited because the verb is visited and then visited it have you been how would you like to travel to rome yeah that would be a good place right yeah maybe in, in october <laughs> okay hopefully you you're having vacation in october no but i i try to go to to Spain, okay. I hot, I hot, because I went, I, I going with a friend to Rome. Hopefully, hopefully you will be able. Mm -hmm. I hope so. Okay, what about this one? Um, did I play football in the morning? Okay. Did they yeah. play football in the morning? To play for the morning. Yes, they did it. Okay, are they playing football or, or basketball? Ah, uh, <laughs> basketball. No, they didn't. Yeah, right. No, they didn't. They played basketball. Played, played basketball. basketball. As you can see, right, in the questions, we don't change the form of the verb. The verb remains in the base form, play. But when you have um, the affirmative sentence you change the form of the verb they played basketball <coughs> okay we have this other one right here did we dance a lot of saturday okay did we dance a lot last saturday Yes, right. Did we dance a lot last Saturday? What would be the, the answers? Uh, yes, we did. Yes, we, we did. We danced a lot. Of. Yeah. We danced. We danced a lot. A lot. Yes, right. Yeah, maybe you remember what we said about the pronunciation about the pronunciation of the ED endings, that it has only three yes. different pronunciations. Mm -hmm. We didn't. Yeah, the first one is repeated. Huh? You put your, your tongue in the back part of your front teeth, and you say Se pone la lengua en la parte trasera de los dientes delanteros. You say Danced. Okay. Dance. The other pronunciation is the. 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 And when you say cried, cried, tried. Okay. Tried. When you say uh, played. Played. Y la otra que decía que es la única donde en realidad la e tiene un sonido que repito no es e sino es e. It's a short sound. A short sound. You say. Okay, es cuando los verbos terminan en T o en D, como need, you say need it, como want, want it, or want it. Okay, uh, you say decide, decided, expect, expected, okay, create, created, and so on. Okay. All right. <coughs> Okay, what about this question? 
Did Paul study hard? Did Paul study hard? Yes, right. And the question, the answers? Yes, he did. Yes, he, he did. Studied hard. Yes, he did. He studied hard. Yes. Exactly. What about you? Did you study hard when you were at high school? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. <laughs> maybe not, right? Yeah. But when, when you are at high school, you don't really, I don't know, care too much about I, studying. Uh, for me, well, uh, I think it, um, it was very difficult. High school? Yeah. Well, Why? Um, uh, there are some reasons I, I didn't work in. Uh, in that moment, uh, I never study for ex exam. I only did my homework in the moment. Uh, for me, it was easy. I never effort a lot of. Yeah, you never had to make such a great effort. Okay. Yeah. That, that's great, right? You know, because some people, they have to study really hard and read a lot and practice a lot. But it, it's good for you, right? But there are some other people who see things more easily. And some way, uh, they are good without reading too much or without studying too much. Okay. Let's move on. Hey. Oh, I already show you this one. <laughs> Did Sarah stay in bed late? What would be the answers? Um, yes, she did. Yes, she did, right? She stayed in bed. Yes, she stayed in bed. Late. She stayed in bed. Late. Mm -hmm. She stayed in bed. Okay. Uh, as I was explaining yesterday, sometimes also the pronunciation of the ED highlights more when you join it to the other sound, right? Stay din, okay? A veces se resalta más en la pronunciación de la ED eh, cuando se une con el siguiente Stay sonido, in. que por lo general eh, debería ser una vocal. ¿no? Stay din, stay, you say, stay, this is the verb, stay din, stay din. Stay, ahí se, din. stay din, se une con el, con el in, ¿verdad? Entonces ahí se resalta más la pronunciación. Stay, Stay in, in bed late. Okay. Okay, what about this one? Uh, did my cousin play the piano? Did my cousin play the piano? And what could be no, the answers? He All didn't. Right. No, he didn't. He played the guitar. Yes, right. No, he didn't. He played the guitar. Okay. En ese otro caso, lo que se suele hacer es que se une y se hace un solo sonido. ¿verdad? En realidad, aquí la, la idea del, del play no se escucha. ¿verdad? Es el contexto lo que da a entender okay. que está hablando en pasado. Que está la pregunta, ¿verdad? Did my cousin play the piano? No, he didn't. Todavía la respuesta con el, con el auxiliar en pasado. He played the guitar. Y aquí se une el D con el D de the guitar. O sea, son solo sonidos. Porque es antinatural, ¿verdad? Es decir, he played and then the guitar. Y hacer esa pausa, ¿verdad? Okay. okay. All right. Okay, another question. Did Henry smile a lot? Oh, no, sorry. Did Henry smile at you? Henry <laughs> smile at you. Yes, he did. Okay. He smiled, smiled a lot. He smiled, he smiled a lot. Yeah, at you it says. <laughs> it would be at me here. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. He smiled at me. Okay. Aquí de nuevo, ¿verdad? Ah, at me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ve que se junta el sonido. Smiled. Termina en the. Smiled. Smiled. No decimos smiled, no, smiled. 
y se junta con el at. Smile that me. Smile that me. Exacto. Yes, he did. He smiled at me. Y ahí resalta más es la pronunciación. Entonces, más yeah. que todo, la, la pronunciación de LD resalta cuando la palabra que continúa inicia con vocal. Ok. Ok. Um, now we're going to be practicing also some questions, but now this time practicing also irregular verbs. Okay, los verbos irregulares. Um, okay. Uh -huh. For example, this one. Did Michael do his homework? Yes, he did. He did his homework. All right. Yes, he did. Or you can say, yes, he did his homework. Exactly. Okay. You can have a short answer or a long answer. Okay. Can you help me with this one? Did Anne eat pizza? No, they didn't. He ate pasta, a salad. Salad, right? And you see the verb eat is irregular and the past form of eat is? Eight. Eight, exactly. Did Anne eat pizza? No, she didn't. She ate salad. Exactly, that's the past form. <laughs> We're also practicing with regular verbs. Okay. What about this one? How would you make the question? Um, uh, did they win the game? Did they win the game? Okay. Yes, they, they did. Mm -hmm. That's the short answer. How would you make the long answer? Yes, they did. They won the game. They won the game. Yes, they did, or they won the game. Yes, right. You know some. You know some verbs in the in the regular form, right? I see that. Yeah. Okay. What about this one? Did Did Sue read ride, ride her bike to work? Did Sue ride her bike to work? Exactly. Again, the no. verb doesn't change. Okay. Hmm? No, they and uh, no, he didn't. He rode her uh, car. Okay. No, she didn't. She drove her car or she drove to work. Yeah. Se sabe bastante de los verbos irregulares, ya verdad. Yeah, I practice. <laughs> yeah, you practice. That that's great. That's great. Uh, where have you learned English? ¿Dónde has aprendido inglés o cuánto tiempo ya aprendiendo? ¿O dónde has tomado clases? Well, I, I try to uh, to learn English many times, but I never finish the 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 the, 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 the I don't know what to say. The, the, I had the course. I if, for example, in this moment, I I be in this course. Um, for my work, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think in, in, for example, I say I say you that I like this class because the the there are a a, a ad, but e, there are a class in the in the night for practice. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And maybe. I thinking uh, in the next model, uh, in the next module, mo module special. What? Uh, in the next, uh, in the siguiente module. Uh huh. I thinking I don't be here because um, my business is be is very very very. Um, I don't know what to say. Bueno, la cuestión es de que los últimos módulos. Ya tengo como este año de, de estar en clase y los últimos módulos siempre lo van cambiando de, 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 de programa. Entonces, mi programa anterior fue otro, y el anterior fue otro. Y al final siento que, que estoy como en el mismo módulo. O tal vez se van avanzando, pero como no es la misma compañía en la que nos escriben, 
como que no vuelvo a retroceder. Por eso le decía de que pienso que el siguiente módulo no voy a estar aquí porque ellos se atrasan. Ah, para okay, escribir yeah. a las personas. Okay, but yeah, I mean, you know, you know what you're doing, right? You know, to try, you need to try your best. The point is to continue all the time. Point is yeah. to continue learning. Exactly. Okay, uh, let's continue. Okay, can you help me with this one? <coughs> Did they go to the beach? Uh, yes, they did. Okay. They went to the beach. Exactly. Yes, they did. They went to the beach. Okay. What about you? When was the last time you went to the beach? Um, one week ago. A week ago? Yeah. Okay, so... It was on the weekends or, or what? In the weekend. So last weekend you were at the beach. That That's great. Yeah. Okay. Do you like going to the beach? Not much. I prefer much. mountain. Yeah, me too. But, it's better. Uh -huh. Because at the beach, it's really crowded. There are a lot of people. It's really hot also. Uh, sometimes it's very relaxing. For example, I went to the uh, um, ¿cómo se llama? Uh, Puerto de la Libertad. Uh, in the end, on the road, when they, uh, they be the Punta Roca, uh, only for a uh, visit in the afternoon. Okay. It be the, 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 the afternoon. Yeah, I think it's very relaxing. It's more relaxing, yes. Yeah. That's true. Okay. Let's see. So, okay, what about this one? <coughs> Did you make a nice pie? The, a mince pie. A mince, uh, mince yeah. pie. A mince pie is like a pie that they do with um, a lot of fruits, okay? A type of yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, no, they no. You no, you didn't. Okay. Or you can say no, you, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. I made a cake. Okay. No, I didn't. I made a chocolate cake. Yes. A chocolate cake. Mm -hmm. And you see, right, the past form of make is made. Made. Exactly. Do you like these types of cakes? Does that look attractive to you? You see, yes. Yeah, it looks delicious. I, I, I like it. I, I like that a lot. <coughs> okay. All right, what about that one? Did Peter buy a new camera? Yeah, did Peter buy a new camera? Yes, mm -hmm. they did. Mm -hmm. Yes, he, he did, both, right? Uh-huh, he bought a new camera. Okay, yes, he did. He bought a new camera. Yeah, that's the past form of buy, bought. Okay, that would be basically the end of the presentation. We're just going to be having some practice on this. We have this, um, yeah. I don't know, um, in your case, how much progress do you have in the platform? Sorry? How much progress do you have here in the platform? Um, um, uh, I, don't, I don't understand. The, the progress, how much uh, percentage ah. progress? Mm -hmm. Um, eighty-five percent. Okay, so you are in on unit five already. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Okay, so yeah, here you have some practice too, some exercises that you can use to practice. You have uh, regular and regular verbs, the simple past, the spelling rules, 
the sentences, negative form, also questions, all different types of exercises that you can use. Okay, for the okay. for the past. Okay, so um, we're going to be practicing just a little bit with um, the same that we practiced yesterday, but this time we're going to be putting the questions. Okay, so okay. Can you make a question with a sentence, sorry, using the this picture? Mm -hmm. Using the verb fly. Did the man fly? Okay. Did the man fly? In this case, they add with a, with a rocket, right? So he's flying with okay. a rocket. Rocket. Oh, sorry, this is in the present simple. The past would be, did the man fly with a rocket? And as you can see, the verb doesn't change. Okay. And what would be the affirmative sentence? Uh, yes, he did. Okay, that's the answer. Uh-huh. And what about the sentence, affirmative sentence? Affirmative sentence. Mm -hmm. uh, the man... Flew with a rocket. The man flew with a rocket, exactly. Good job. What about the negative? The man didn't fly with a rocket. Exactly. Good job. Really well done. Would you like to try flying like that with a rocket? Yeah, I, yeah. I think it, you like I uh, you like practicing extreme sports. Yeah. That's awesome, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's choose another one. Let's see now with uh, run. Speak up run. Okay, can you give me an affirmative sentence? Um, affirmative sentences. The man run and the, the man run a lot of Okay. The man ran. Did you say ran or run? Ran, ran. Yeah, in the past, you need to make the difference in the pronunciation, right? Ran. And run. The, present, the present is run. 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 The past, run. ran. You need to widen your lips more when you pronounce the A. Ran. Like, open ran. your mouth. Mm -hmm. The man ran. The man run. Runs, in any case. By the way, uh, when you use a lot, I, I listen to you saying a lot. <coughs> the man ran a lot. A lot. In the case of the lot, it's also like an adverb, right? It indicates quantity. The man ran, ran a lot. Okay. Eh, solamente se utiliza a lot. Porque cuando se utiliza a lot, a lot of, a lot of es porque vamos a utilizar un sustantivo después de ello. A lot of ah, okay. people lot of... are here. Hay mucha gente acá. Um, okay. Uh -huh. I drank a lot of, lot of beers. Beer. Okay, <laughs> beers. You like beers? Yeah. They are yeah me too sometimes. Yeah, the, the, the thing is just like drinking like two or three, right? Not, not too much. Yeah. How many do you like to drink? How many? Yeah. Um, maybe four, five, uh, max six. Yeah, like the maximum is like six, right? You, there are some people who can drink even 15 or 20 beers. That's too much. No, not for me. No, nah, not for me either. <laughs> uh. Okay. The man ran a lot. Uh, you see here, I drank a lot of beers. You use of when you're going to use a, 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 a now, like here. Okay. Mm -hmm. A lot of beers. But if you're going to use it a lot, uh, a lot uh, alone, you don't need to use of. Okay, a lot. I drank a lot. Bebí demasiado, o bebí mucho. Just like that. Si agregamos of, tenemos que decir de qué. Okay. A qué nos referimos. Okay, a lot of, eh, 
mucho de algo, ¿verdad? Demasiado de algo. Si solo decimos Allah, demasiado. Sin mencionar que. ¿Ok? Ok. 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 Ok, the man run. What about the negatives? The man, uh, no, uh -huh. the man uh, didn't run. run. The man didn't run. Yes. Great job. And the question? Uh, did the man run? Yes, right. Did the man run? I guess this is kind of clear, right? I don't know if you have any questions with negative uh, questions or negative sentences or affirmative sentences. Is there any question about it? No. Okay. So we're just going to be practicing with these stories. You know, the best way to practice the past is to be working with stories. So you're going to help me complete this story, changing the verbs to the past. Okay? Okay. Okay, get started. Yesterday was a busy day. I woke up, uh, took a shower. Okay. Then I ate breakfast and watched the news. Okay, watched, watched, watched. the news. Uh -huh. In this case, you connect Watched with the watched watch the news. Okay. Aquí ni siquiera se escucha en realidad, verdad? Eh, por eso, watched. por eso le decía que, como mínimo, hay que evitar eh, pronunciarlo como ed, como watch, it, verdad? Eh, como mínimo es lo que se debe de hacer, evitar pronunciarlo así. ¿Por qué? Porque eh, en, en realidad, en la práctica ni siquiera se escucha. Por ejemplo, si yo lo es, lo esto de manera natural. Yesterday was a busy day. I woke up and took a shower. Then I ate breakfast and watched the, the news. Realmente no sé diferencia si lo estoy pronunciando en su forma base o en pasado. Porque lo junto okay. con la siguiente, ¿verdad? Pero si se va a notar, si digo watch it, ¿verdad? Y ahí sí lo voy a escuchar. Lo van a escuchar it, todos yeah. y van a decir, ok, eso suena mal. <laughs> ok. Ah. Yeah. So. Eh, Hasta realidad, lugar. Ok. En realidad <laughs> ni, siquiera, ni siquiera se escucha, ¿verdad? And ok. Watch the news. Claro, hay otros, eh, otras, otros eh, que situaciones donde sí hay que hacer la diferencia, ¿verdad? Porque no hay contexto ni nada por el estilo y sí hay que... Y también la, eh, el contexto de las palabras da lugar a que se pronuncie bien. Ok, Katsini. Ok. I draw to the word. I draw to word. And... Had meeting until noon. I went to Burger King for lunch where I saw my friend still. What? I went to Burger King for lunch where I saw my friend still. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No cambia. The verb. <laughs> So we talk about life. Okay. Then okay. I, so we talked, you said talk, what's the talk? Talk. Uh, talked about. Aquí sí se escucha la pronunciación del pasado, ¿verdad? Porque se junta con talk la vocal que sigue. Talk ta, talked about, talked about. So we talked about life. Talk about. Mm -hmm. Talk about life, then I yeah, leave, I work. Okay. Then I left, right? The past left. form of leave is left. Luego left. Ah. dejé el trabajo. Luego me fui. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave is dejar, salir, irse. Okay. Mm -hmm. I work until 5.30. Okay. I, I went worked, to the gym. Okay. I worked. Work. 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 Mm -hmm. You need to pronounce the t. Worked. Work. T. Work. It's a little different. Work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I worked work. until, and then here you join the sounds too. Aquí también es uno de los sonidos, ¿verdad? 
pasa de work, la ca, work, work, work until, work until. Eh, y se escucha como que dice until, ¿verdad? Okay. Work, work. Eh, I worked until 5.30. I work, I worked until, uh, I worked until 5.30. I went to the gym. I swung. Swing, swung. Yeah. I swung for an hour. And then I choose closet and met my friends. Okay, there you go. Then I changed clothes and met my friends. Ah, uh, change, change. Choose. Ah, choose es elegir, ¿verdad? Yeah, choose. Mm -hmm. Y este es cambiar. Ah, sí. Yeah. Met my friend at the bar. We drank some beers. Okay, we drank. Played. I drank. We drank. We drank some beers and played pool. Finally, I get home and made dinner for my wife and kids. Okay. Finally, I got home. The past of get is got. Okay. Mm -hmm. And made a dinner for my wife and kids. Exactly. Got and this one you pronounce it finally. Finally. Yes. Finally. 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 Yes. Exactly. Okay, uh, Saul, I don't know if you have any question. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I think that for you, maybe this topic is a little clear, right? It, it seems to me that you handle the past. Yeah, we, we always need to continue practicing, but somehow you handle the past. Como lo veo, no, no está complicado el tema del pasado para usted. Only need to practice. Yeah, we only need practice, that's it. Every day I need to write something in the past, what happened in my day. Yeah, that, that's a good way to practice. Exactly. Okay. Um, well, I think that we're going to stop here, Saúl, right? Creo que vamos a parar okay. acá para que se pueda ir a postar luego, tome algo porque si está mal de la tos. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that you joined the class. Thanks for joining. Gracias por unirse y por estar presente. Tome algo, ¿verdad? Y espero que se mejore. Okay. Same. Good night. Good night. See you uh, tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Bye.